Alright, it's so the morning, it's uh, quarter to ten, and we're about to check out. We haven't had any breakfast yet, um, but we decided that it's best to pack up our stuff and then find somewhere to eat, have our, uh, have some fruit, smash that in at a juice bar or <clears throat> just to the side of the road. I've got a knife and a spoon, so we could always use those. And we're going to try and smash out a bit more distance today, aren't we, Dan? Smash the distance. We don't know how far, but we're gonna. It's a place called Dutch Bay, which looks pretty cool. And that's, I think that's about 60, 70, 80 kilometers. I don't actually know. It's quite a far, quite a decent distance. All right, we're rolling out. Just checked out the accommodation. I picked up my passport. My bike's rattling a little bit. It's all good. Tires are good. Good uh, inflation levels. We're gonna go find some fruit. Coconuts and some watermelon. Ah, it's tutti. I think I'll be about 300 something rubies. Got a little one. For what? For the watermelon. Yeah, probably. So we're hoping to have a little half of watermelon each just to just get the hydration levels up early in the morning. Watermelon. A hundred Sri Lankan cyclists just razzed through. Hey! And uh, yeah, they're all in a race, so that's pretty sick. I missed it on the camera, sadly, but they were, they were going pretty quick. All on pretty decent bikes. Bananas and some papaya. Time for a proper breakfast. We, well, we had a really low calorie breakfast, but nice water rich one. So uh, we're gonna get a bit more sugary fruit soon now get some bananas in and then stop off at a juice bar afterwards it's good to keep regular sugars in and like food in when you're on the bike and maybe have one big meal break but it's good to just have regular stops a, uh, a kilo of sugar banana well these are, i think these are milk bananas actually these little babies 80 rupees for a kilo of them just gonna eat all these now it's about 40 pence for a, uh, you know, probably about 600 calorie, six, 700 calorie stop off. Pretty good. Eat those and then look for a juice bar. So what you got? Different variety of banana. Different variety. It's slightly bigger, different taste. Gotta get, gotta get variety in your life. Yeah, exactly. One type of banana one day. See, look, we've got different types of banana. I've got these ones. I've got milk bananas. And Dan's got, what are they called again? Let's call them leopard bananas. Yeah, I don't know, leopards. Dan's got the leopards, yeah. I've got the milks. There you go, so you've got to get variety, it's important. Little cheeky papaya now. This one had no seeds in, it was infertile, but it smells pretty good, so I'm going to eat that. I've got three bananas left which I'll take with me or eat after I've had this. Here's our competition, we already smashed them here. We've been here for like 20 minutes, we beat these guys. All right, check out the bikes. You, you, you! Giant, giant, trek, trek, giant, giant, trek, Bianchi. good bikes, Bianchi. Yeah, they've split, second bunch. Go, go, go! S works. Go on, son, catch up to that. That's, that's pretty solid, pretty solid pace. It is on the flat, though. Guy at the back wasn't lean enough. Oh, there's loads of them. You, you, you. Mosque in the distance there with some singing going on for prayer. Some uh, rice paddies. Or at least X rice paddies. Right on, son. Just a little spin, didn't we? Try and, spin. try and match up to the, uh, the Sri, Lankan, Sri Lankan races. I think we've quite got the same. Alright, let's take some selfies, shall we? Have we got a papaya juice here? Juice number two. So uh, we've stopped off at this place. Dan, this is his third visit here. Uh, we just uh, in the space of an hour. In the space of an hour, I'm just having one of these. I've already had two. 
<laughs> that's the third one. Uh, we've just been cramming in, so I had two juices, three rotties, um, and a whole pack of crackers. <laughs> Actually, Dan, you're the two, but um, crackers and dates. So uh, we're out on the coast. Uh, after having smashed in quite a considerable amount of food, but both agree, we don't feel we don't feel horrendous. We just feel full. Thanks to topped up. We've got the sea here. Sitting on some steps. I'm gonna get my feet in the water. I think. We're staying in the south and we're cycling for bicycles. Uh -huh. Cycling to Japan. Fence is going on and more organisation. Um, it's still really dry. The roads are really quite good quality. Not really busy. There's a bit more order on the road as well. It's like there's actually not. You can hear there's not many horns crack, uh, going on at the moment. So it's really quite uh, really quite nice. So uh, we're just going to keep heading north and head on to uh, a small spit of land. And hopefully catch a ferry tomorrow morning to go to across the other side. But we've got about 20 k's to go until we hit reach the spit of land, we think so. So yeah, we'll uh, keep cracking on. So just had a quick pit stop at this uh, little restaurant place. Kind of much needed pit stop actually. I think I ate a little bit too much food too quickly at lunch and I've had a bit of a full belly cycling the last 20 kilometers or so. So uh, just sat in there, had some water and... Uh, and uh, Splash the face with water, refresh yourself, and uh, went for a quick bowel evacuation in the squatter toilet, a little cheeky squatter. And uh, yeah, it's now quarter to six, and we're about to head off on the way again after refreshed. Hats off, glasses off, got the aerodynamic setup going on again. Getting ready to go after what we've just eaten. Sugar bullets. Crystallized pear. Crystallized pear. Food source. <laughs> Good food source in Sri Lanka. <laughs> Sugar coated pear. <laughs> we've got we've got it down, haven't we? Should get some helmet on it. Should get... We should be a sauce <laughs> Probably. Anyway, right, we, we better hit the road. So quarter to six, so we've got about got an hour's light really left. Um, we got the lights though, and we've got we've still got like 40 miles to go, so uh, we're just going to cruise through the dark. We've got the lights on. Probably stop somewhere for dinner and then head up. Some boy, some bloody boy, some swagger on him, isn't it? Lee. He's so lean that truck didn't even see him. Side on, you can't even see him there. He's like paper. <laughs> All right, son. Good find. Right then. Let's go to Daphne. Heading towards the sea. We think. Hello! Ah, 
happy children, very, very happy children. Just stoked to see me and Dan cycling down this path, which I don't think many, many tourists are going to be cycling down. They're not going to see many people like us cruising down here in a bright blue and yellow top. <laughs> Pretty nice though. We've gone off road now. Switched bikes. Got the mountain bikes out. We ran out of tarmac. Well, it was really smooth for a minute. I might have to put the camera down now. Look at this. I better put it down. So this is a pretty amazing route we're on right now. Um, loads and loads of lovely people around. Really different. The houses are really. Hello. Are you? <laughs> very friendly. Lots of children, but very very friendly children. And little, little community here. Yellow house, green house. Lots of colours. It's a dirt track road, so. We're not exactly properly equipped with the road bikes, but it adds to the fun. Yeah, some thicker tyres would be nice for rolling speed. Yeah, speed, definitely. Yeah. But then this is really, no really interesting. So in cycling terms, of when we wanted to, you know, smash out some Ks, smash out some Ks, it wasn't the best choice. But you know, in, in exploring terms, it was very good. So we're gonna, we're just turning on the lights, and uh, we're gonna cruise along here. It's gonna be because it's pretty bumpy. It's gonna get hard to see the bumps. But everyone's stoked to see us here. We'll stick out like a sore thumb. This road we're on now is absolutely incredible. Look. Hello! Hey! This is just like kind of lost for words. The, the scenery, there's quite a lot of flies going in my eyes here, but there's just, apart from like the odd, you know, motorbike which goes past, it's nothing but the sense of nature. Just surrounded by flatlands either side with palm trees and and uh, little lakes and stuff just on this sandy track as it's getting dark it's amazing <laughs> hello, hello. Are you going? how are you uh well we're cycling to um what's the, i keep forgetting the name kira kira piti kira piti uh, kalpitia 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 where are you from uh we're from england mm -hmm. yeah. what about you you go to yeah, Your church. Huh? Church. Church. Oh, church. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. This T-shirt, English Academy. You go to English Academy? Yeah. I need yeah. To work. Where? Need to work. Ah. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Ryson. Let's go. <laughs> uh, there's another guy up there with Dan. Got a little bike club going on. Hello. So uh, we have. Uh, just stopped off at the supermarket. We're uh, about 92 kilometers total today. We made it onto the spit of land. Um, stopping at the supermarket, buying some more water. It's now gone nine o'clock. We haven't had dinner. I'm not actually that hung hungry, really. Dan's a bit hungry now. I do need to eat something, but we need to find somewhere to stay. We, we need to get to bed soon, really. So, uh, hello. A bit of pressure to. Um, find somewhere to stay we will find somewhere so we're just gonna head that way north into the biggest town next one along and find somewhere to stay here oh, right okay we've had f we've gone <laughs> can't speak I'm tired we've had food and we've had water it wasn't exactly what we wanted but we've eaten and we have a room which, yeah, check check out the room. This is the jungle system fan. Uh, check out this room. This is what you get. In thank you in for your money. We've got a ceiling fan, which isn't high enough. Like I'm potentially in danger of getting hit in the face. I'm probably all right, but it's not safe. Um, got some wires here, and if you see the roof, it's. Ooh. <laughs> I suddenly cut my hand. Oh my god, I just, uh, I'm too tired for this game. Right, so yeah, there you go, there's the room. Yeah, the roof is chilling. Probably asbestos. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got another room through here, got a chair. This is the bed. Jungle system. Got a, uh, got a, we've got charging sockets, which is 
the most important thing because otherwise we wouldn't be able to upload Strava tomorrow. And that's all we really care about, isn't it? No, today's been an amazing... Oh, there's a rat in here. Brilliant. Yeah. There's a mouse. It's chilly. <laughs> oh, we got them at home anyway. Yeah, it's fine. It was quite sweet. Yeah, you've got a chair, so if you want to chill out and look at your bikes, you know, and just admire them, that's good. We've got a sink, just, just cash. Got some vents, which are good for uh, air conditioning and rats. We've got a toilet down there with no light, which is just like a hole in the ground, which is cool. So, stop being so negative, William. I'm tired, Dan. I'm tired and cranky. What do you expect? And there's some rotten wood on the floor as well. So basically, it's it's all you could ever want. We've got a broom. We've got the broom. So that'll come in handy in the night. It will come in handy in the night. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. There's the day. Overall, today's been amazing. Some of the cycling has been incredible. I'm definitely in need of a bed now. My bum hurts. Right. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I think, and I'll see you in the morning. We are the end of another day. Here is the Strava data. Next stage to North Sri Lanka. So the total distance was 101.5 kilometers. So just over 100k, the biggest ride of the trip so far. Uh, just under five and a half hours of cycling time. Look at the elevation, it's so flat. Uh, 1,425 calories burnt. Uh, here it is on the map. So, this is where we started, and this is where we finished. Um, that's where we bumped into those chaps and had a chat on the beach in Chilau. And then all the way along here, between here and here, was those dusty tracks. Um, the dirt, well, actually, no, it was where we turned off there. And there was dirt tracks up there. Joined the main road again. And there was where we stayed tonight. So thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next episode tomorrow. Good night.